to the most accurate forecast in Jacksonville all week long. Tim and I and the rest of the team have been telling you that Thursday morning was going to be a wet commute. And here we are with those wet roadways across Jacksonville. This is the last hour. You can see the time lapses starting to watch uh, drier conditions in Baker County, Western Duval, and this is great news. All right, so the rain has really already, uh, you know, soaked things this morning. There could be some more pockets of showers, uh, but I would say the heaviest of the rain, at least for areas Jacksonville northward, are going to continue to fade. Okay, as we head into uh, the next couple hours, what we're going to be looking at are areas to our southwest now continuing to blow toward places like Green Cove, Palatka, St. Augustine, and Palm Coast, and uh, probably Ponte Vedra getting in on some more rain as well. So you can see in central Florida, we're dealing with those showers blowing in from southwest to northeast. So more showers are on the way, but we are headed toward the, you know, the last couple hours of rain before we start to clear out. Lots of sunshine expected by later on this afternoon. If we see anything else later today, it's going to be very brief and isolated. I'll show you what I mean here. So that front blows through and then maybe just maybe there could be a little pop up wraparound shower by 5 6 p.m. I would say that's not going to be, you know, a deal breaker for your afternoon. Still, things are going to be relatively dry. The majority of us seeing the sunshine and cooler, drier breezes. Perfect baseball weather for Jumbo Shrimp opening day. 66 degrees for first pitch as we're playing ball in downtown Jacksonville. Now, the next couple mornings, the next several mornings, I should say, are going to be on the cooler side. We're going to have afternoons, though, uh, that are going to start to heat up by Saturday and Sunday into the 80s. Thanks to that southwest breeze, it gets even hotter as we head into next.